Hey everybody. So I just shot the the garbage moo kite video um, or low quality, low grade moo kite video. And uh, I was reviewing it and once again under these lights it's all washed out and you just can't really tell the colors in the point. It actually makes the colors look completely different but get out in the sunlight or maybe it's just the video camera. But, uh, over the regular camera, I don't know. I don't know how to get that kind of quality when I'm taking a picture is on the video, or if that's even possible. But what I got here is a piece of mukite, and I've had this around for quite a while. It's actually uh, I bought this rock. Uh, back when I first started and I made this point actually I bought this rock I had also bought an 18 inch saw when I first started I I worked I tried percussion and I bought a I bought first thing I bought I bought a few tools watched a whole bunch of videos thought I got this <laughs> so then I ordered some rock and I ordered some some obsidian and I think I ordered a a medium box and uh, it showed up and literally within 30 minutes it was all just dust <laughs> there wasn't anything I got out of it nothing and I thought this is horrible that didn't go anything like it did when I'm watching a video <laughs> and uh, I had bought more rock and this is part of it and tried percussion and tried percussion and tried percussion and fought with it and just really had I was having a hard time and I wanted something that I could get to the finish line and have some finish points and things like that so I was doing slabs which I was planning on doing both uh, and uh, and I made some really nice I can I can make some pretty nice stuff on slabs I don't do the normal flake over grind with the perfect flaking mine's more of a uh well, it's still a grind over, or it's a grind over flake, then grind, then flake again kind of thing. We're going to do a video on, on how I do slabs, but, uh, and I did one not too long ago, and I'm definitely out of practice, but it was still pretty decent. So I'll be doing a video on that, but this was a slab of mukite that I'd cut, and I had napped it, and it had some spots that didn't clear and it got thrown in a thing and it in a in the bucket and it's been sitting there ever since but i was looking at it today and i thought you know what that'll make a great drill so that's what we're going to do we're going to narrow this thing down some more try to create more of a pronounced median ridge and make it into a mukite drill it shouldn't take very long but uh that's the plan and i think i'm going to I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this part here I don't know we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it and see what happens that's actually probably sharp enough Unlike the piece of mukite that I just worked, if I remember right, this was a pretty high grade, high quality piece. Well, most of it. Boy, it ain't wanting to bite on that at all. Might need to sharpen it a little bit, I guess. It's 
something because I uh, I sanded or I abraded that so it shouldn't be quite so slippery but sure enough is yeah let me sharpen that although it's not really that dull Might have over abraded a little bit, I don't know. That's better. Just needed a point on it. And I'm mostly just flaking down. Apparently lost my point already. Because I'm not wanting to thin it. I'm wanting to keep it fat. But, uh... Doggone it. Nope. Sure why I'm just sliding off this thing so bad, but I am. Dog, God, it just broke it. Snap that tip right off. Should have been on that other pad, I guess. Dang it. Is this another video destined for the super <laughs> as long as I've been holding on to this stupid piece and then I snapped it off well is my super glue out here I should have it sitting right here somewhere Does that seem to use? I'll probably snap this back off again. I was probably just being too aggressive, and I usually sand these. Also, I don't. And I do have my sandpaper out here. I'm not sure if it actually helps, but. Just roughing that up just a little bit. I'm trying to overdo it, I'm just trying to do it. Try to shoot a quick little video and look what happens. <laughs> That's not much surface to, not much surface there. You guys probably didn't see any of that. By looking at the thing, I don't believe you've seen any of it. what happened is I probably just had too much pressure in my right hand the thing that I was talking about and say don't do that yeah it ain't gonna stay on there that's all right we're just gonna go to a shorter drill just gonna be a bit shorter
going to be another video for the vault. I was trying to think of shorter videos I could do. And this was one of them. broke the tip off doggone it Another video for the vault. If you're just tuning in, you don't know what the vault is. It's a place where videos like this go to set that may never see the light of day. But I keep them there in reserve. It's a whole playlist. And everything that's in it is set to private <laughs> so y'all can't see it but eventually someday when I need content some of them might get released uh, who knows I might just go ahead and release this one no telling But I lost a good little portion, three quarters of an inch or better, of my end of my drill. I'm not thrilled about that, obviously. Got a pretty good median ridge going now. on the one side paying so much attention to the camera and trying to trying to keep it in frame that Okay, I'd say we're probably narrow enough. I don't know what is on this point, but there is something on it. I 
Who knows? I'd try and clean it off, whatever it is, I guess. Somehow when this travels, it got something on it. Pad. I don't know what happened to it. I've actually got no idea where my dome pad. That I made is, I don't know. Yeah, I seem to have lost it. I was messing with it yesterday because I was thinking about making another one and I don't know what I did with it. Something. So I'm going over my allotted time this morning for filming. I should already be in the shop. But I didn't really think this was going to take very long. I was really just thinking like 10 or 15 minutes. Now I don't really know. It might take a little bit longer than that. minutes are we into it? Yeah, we're already in at 18 minutes. There's not much left to do, though. Not much left that we're going to do, anyways. I knew what was all over this point. I'm going to have to take it in the house and wash it off. Very symmetrical. I ain't even been paying attention to the symmetry. Yeah, it's still got problems.
Raleigh. I know y'all can hear him. Telling everyone good morning. sidetracked with I guess because that tip broke or something I got me distracted and I whole uh, didn't pay any attention at all to my symmetry but it's closer now quite a bit closer Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. We got a nice median ridge going down the center. I like to do a big yellow moo cat drill. Let's give this drill a little pizzazz. Just a little bit. Just making these sides just a little bit convex. Convex, concave. You know what I mean. Yep. Just slightly. Neon B again. I know a drill's not supposed to have this, but I needed something to add some character to it. <laughs> put a notch up the bottom too. Why not? Must have put something on this point back when I first started or something or I don't know, could have could have got something on it. Whatever's on it. Sure slippery. Well I could have done without that busting the corner off right there. These notches are stalled out all I mean really stalled out. <laughs> 
but I done that a long time ago and I don't think I'm gonna mess with those I sure don't All right, let's pick at the edge with our little ledger here, and it's got burrs on it. I am not sure what kind of moth this is. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. But let me see here. There he is. Look at that dude. He's wicked. He's big too. Money. Got right there on that. Someone on here probably knows what kind of moth that is. I'll leave him alone. He can do his thing. Just looked over and seen that dude over there. kind of a small piece so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see through my big fingers or not but I've got a couple other points that I made a long time ago that I'm thinking about redoing Try and take a few flakes here and there that would indirect that I wasn't really capable of before, but I think I am now. Maybe deep in a few notches. I don't know, I'm going to have a few points like that that I'm going to revisit. Well, if I can get all this junk off of it, it'd be a pretty nice little drill. I've been planning on doing this for a while now. And I was in there putting some points away and I seen this and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do that real quick. It's only gonna take five, 10 minutes. <laughs> Still should be one of my shorter videos, I would hope. Someone said, and it could just be rumor, but someone said Aboriginal people in Australia, where this mukite's from, they won't even nap this stuff. I think it's a little bit like Flint Ridge, where I can tell you when you buy it and you're going through it, very little of it that's actually usable well not very little but not nearly as much as you'd think there's a lot of waste I sometimes wonder why they even bother sending that junk stuff over but they do. 
I guess someone uses the lapidary guys or something. There's a lot of ways for them to. But you don't need a very big piece if you're just making cabs or something like that, you know. And you're not trying to get it to flake so you can grind and polish and all that. So it's easier to make something out of it. But it's one of the prettiest stones we have to nap, so. All right, I think I'm gonna call it good right there. Other than I'm gonna go in the house and try and scrub off whatever's on that thing. But that's it, just wanted to shoot a little quick video. Hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time. Keep napping.